Right, so we should be able to now go carry on with the other packages we've got. So let's now do, well, let's change directory first. Get this file here. And oh, it looks like we're going to need a dependency. Okay, GTK. Let's check that one. Okay, so this has got more dependencies. So uh, let's have a look, Cairo, we've got CMake, um, just plugins, base, bad, achieved, I think we've got that. that one lip soup we've got we're gonna reinstall that liquid P we've got maybe a skin what enchant geo we haven't got bubble wrap right let's take a look at these so bubble wrap straightforward So let's just run configure and make this straightforward build for this one. No test suite. Make install. That's done. So I'm going to delete, uh, sorry, mark that off. Chapter 12. Bubble wrap. Oh no, this is FFmpeg. Right, GeoClue. So we've got all these except for this modem manager. So we need these two by the looks of it. This one has got libmbim as a recommended requirements let's look at that one first so this looks like the first one to do so again extract it it's straightforward We've got an option to add documentation at the bottom there. So let's put that in. And we can build it. Let's just check it's saying documentation, yes. check and install it and that's that one complete MB 
Okay. Right, so again, mark that off on chapter 9 this time. MB. MBIM. can do this QMI, so download it, and again similar to before, standard config command we've got Enable GTK doc to build documentation. There's another switch here. So we have installed lib mbim, so we don't put that one in. So we'll just run this configure command in. And so a quick look at the results. Looks fine. So you see it's found the mbim there. And we can run make. Okay, that's done. So let's run make check. That looks all fine. Make install. And that one's complete. Lib QMI. So now we do modem manager. Got all the prerequisites now. So save link has. Save it and extract it. Alright, uh, okay, how's this spelt? Modem manager, it's capital M. Oh, I haven't cleaned up.
So we've got a big configure here with some options um, with system D suspend resume. Forces might have managed to use any login D power management facilities. So oh, that sounds like a good idea. We'll add that one. System with journal, we haven't got that. And enable GTK doc. So we all oh, right, it's already got the f this switch here. So all we need to do is add the GTK doc option to build the documentation. So let's just quickly check what it thinks it's going to do. Command AT command via D bus. I'm not sure if that's something you'd want to turn on. Um, it's not mentioned here, so I probably won't modify anything there. Unless you know exactly what it does in confidence to turn it on, if it's an option. Otherwise, let's build it. Okay, and we can run make check to test it. Looks fine. So let's install it. And that's complete. So we're in chapter 12 there. Item manager. Let's delete that. Go on to GeoClue. So this looks like we've got everything here. Uh, let's just check that one actually. Of course, like I say, if you're ever unsure about anything, just check it. Um, see what libraries or programs have been installed. The programs are in bold down here and the libraries, well they're normally obvious because it's got the SO suffix. Um, so for example the programs are easy, you should be able to execute them just by typing the name. So yeah we can see GDIP, JSON GDIP format so we've definitely got that installed. Save that and extract it. And I've got some extra options here, so let's create the build directory and copy the meson configure command. Let's see what it says. D three G source equals forces disables the three G backend. Install it if you use it if you've not installed the modem manager package. So we have installed it because it's recommended anyway. So we'll leave that out. D modem GPS source force disables the GPS backend. 
use it if you've not installed the Mad America Manager. Right, okay, and it's the same with the next one as well. NMEA, use it if you've not installed the Avahi package. Okay, so really the only one, we can, although it's not mentioned, we can change this one to true because we've got the GTK dock installed. So that's all we really need to do. And that looks like that's worked. Yeah, it's, it's creating everything that these switches were trying to disable because of missing libraries. So that looks okay. Let's run Ninja. No test suite. So Ninja install. And I'll mark that off on networking libraries, chapter 17, and can tidy it up. Enchant recommended a spell. So let's download the package and we need at least one dictionary so I'm going to go to this link, find some English dictionaries, looks like there is only one form of English. UK, I wonder if that's Ukrainian or not. Because I'm not sure whether this UK means Ukrainian or if it is United Kingdom. What I'm going to do is download that one. And I'm going to download the EN one as well. Just in case. I imagine the EN one's going to be American English, which is not quite appropriate, but it's certainly more up to date. So I'm going to save that as well. So I'm just going to uh, create a temporary directory. If there's anything in here that tells me what they are. Maybe a binary file. Let's look at it in Vi. Oh, it is Ukrainian. Okay, so I can't use that one. That would be no use to me. I'm just going to have a quick look at the English one. Um, Alright, okay, looks like it's got the variants within there, so that's, that's useful. Let's have a look at the readme there. So I need to use, looks like I need to use an option with lang equals. Running a spell with lang equals. So 
So maybe I'll just go for this first one here. Oh, it looks like the whole lot is just a combination of American, British and Canadian English, so it might be an idea just to use the default, maybe. Okay, so I'm happy that I've got the right language file. I'll just get rid of that temporary directory. And I'll extract the main program now. Run configure and make. There's no other options. Okay, so the rest of it we've got to do is root. And it says if you do not plan to install iSpell and copy the wrapper script, well, I don't know what iSpell is. If it's a separate program, I imagine, then this wrapper script will just overwrite the script with a binary, so do the same for spell as well. So now we've got to do the dictionary. So let's extract the dictionary here. And let's just run the configure command to see what that tells us. Oops. Let's help. Just a few variables will look it. So yeah, I'm just going to run it as it is, which we've already done. Build it and make install. And that's done. So yeah, you can see it's installed all of them, the Canadian, the GB, and I saw US somewhere there. So that's fine. So that's a spell. General libraries. You can see how we're going from, I don't know where we started with this, but we're going through like GNOME, WebKit, G stuff. Uh, where do we come from possibly? Inkscape, it's all sort of graphics stuff, GIMP. Um, we've come into GST to do sound stuff. And we ended up just now doing network based stuff. And we're all of a sudden doing spelling stuff so you can see how all these things are interlinked and how dependencies can go off in all sorts of wild directions. So chapter 9 a spell, I want to knock off my list. A spell. And Karen was enchant. Again, this looks like this is to do with spelling. And we've got any options here? No, so we'll just copy this as it is. Right, it says to run the test unit CPP must be installed and the enable relocator option 
pass the configure above if these conditions are present the test may be run make check so I don't know what unit test CPP is um, if that's part of this No unit. No. Um, whether that's it looks like it's a program installed by something else. Let's look for it. So we haven't got it, so we can't run the test. So let's just go straight to installing. There's a configuration here. Right, so this actually configures the English GB dictionary, which is just what I want, so that's convenient for me. Obviously, if you've got a different language dictionary, you'll need to modify that. So it says you will see a list of misspelled words followed by a list of alternatives for them. Yes, so that's found the bot and it's suggesting Abbott, Abort, About, Bot, Abet, Abut and so on. So that's good. Linux, it's doing the same thing. There, it's doing that as well. AR, it's doing likewise. So, and commands, yep. So that, that looks like that's working. Let's mark that off in chants in chapter nine. Chant. And tidy up. So now on to lib secret. So I assume lib secret wanted that spelling for the dictionary possibly. If this is to do is Secrets. Um, GJ, yes, I think we've done that one. Known key ring as a runtime dependency. So it looks like we've got everything there. Yeah, I recognise everything, so don't need to check anything there. Known key ring. So there's one option explained which is already included in the configure command so we can just copy everything and configure it. The package GCK found. GCK. Okay. What I'm going to do is source etc profile and run ld config in case this makes any difference to that. So let's rerun the configure. No, so I don't know what this GCK is. Um, let's have a look at these two. Things then look like they're GNOME projects. GC, oh, the GCK1, so it could be that one. It doesn't look like that one, so maybe we need to reinstall GCR. GCR. Oh, right, okay, we haven't got this one. That's why it's failing. Ah, oh, I wonder if it could be that we've got GCR here already in the list. Yeah, there it is back there. So that's why I thought it was installed and it's not. So I need to close that one and go back here and install it. So let's come out of 
gnome keyring and let's check these looks all right so let's get this So it says to pass without GTK, but we have got GTK plus three, so we don't need to pass that in. And we can add the GTK doc. So let's do the set first of all and add in enable GTK doc for some documentation. Interesting, it says test coverage, no. Quick test, non-fatal warnings, okay. So let's just build it, because they, they do tell us how to run the checks. Okay, so now let's run the tests. So this must be running next time, so we might get some windows popping up, possibly. Right, that failed. One error. I imagine that's why they did minus K, because they're aware that some tests will fail. Let's see what it says. GPG collection. Maybe it needs GNU PG. Maybe I haven't got that installed then. Let's just see if it's in this list. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so we might need to go to that one. Oh, well, I just deleted that, have I? I have. Right. So let's get GNU GP up. Let's see what programs this has got. GPG, GPG, well, GPG error is not there, but GPG is. So it looks like we need to install GPG. So let's now tidy this one up. And obviously we're going around in circles now because we're trying to build libraries we're going to build anyway previously for something else so this is why it's getting a bit sticky let's get this up now let's see when I think we've done that one I think it would be a good idea to check these actually curl fuse we've done these ones yeah we've done all these let's just check pin entry yeah, I see pin entries there, so I'm going to get rid of that one. NPTH is there, so I'll get rid of that one. Lib KSBA. That's that one there. Oh, these are all probably because of Lib uh, GPG, GNU PG. So Lib G Crypt, I think we've got that. Yeah, we've got libsecret twice here as well, actually. It's there, and we're due to build it there, so get rid of that one. Right, so let's have a look at libgcrypt. Yes, I think we've got this one, yeah. I'm pretty sure we've got libassy one as well. Yeah, 
so I can get rid of these two. And I need to deal with these ones now. So I've got libash, you want to check that. Let's check lib gpg error. That hasn't got any dependencies. So let's install that one. Okay, have we already got this one? Oh yes, we have, haven't we? I remember we saw the GPG error. Yeah. So that's okay. Um, GCR, we've got to install. That's when we tried to install and it failed. So, um, and we need a little secret as well. All right, this is starting to get complex again. Let's deal with this FLTK. Xorg, high color, I've got those, got that one, got that one, that one, that one, that one. Right, we can build this one. And there's no other config options, so we can just copy and paste. That's done. It says making documentation, but it says you can create some API documentation. You probably don't want that, but we're going for all the documentation. To execute tests, they're interactive, it says. Execute run unit tests. In addition, there are 70 other executable programs. Execute test program and test directory that can be run individually. So I'm not sure if I can run all them, but so here's a window being created. So four pixels in black, red, green and blue, make sure the pixels not anti-alias blurred across multiple images. So I'm just about to see the green ones here and they look like they're different colours. So. Testing. No red pixels should be visible. There isn't any. I can't see any. If you see bright red pixels, the line drawing alignment is off. Or well, the last pixel in the line does not get drawn. If you see dark red pixels, anti-aliasing must be switched off. It looks okay. Rectangles, no red pixels should be visible. If you see red bright lines or if parts of the green frames are hidden, rectangular drawing alignment is off. So, similar sort of thing, looking for anything red. The green rectangle should not be overwritten by the circle drawings, so they look okay. Rendering text, FL measure bounding box in red, FL text extents bound box in green. On systems with anti-aliasing, I don't think we've got anything like that installed at the moment. But it says the text may leak outside of FL text extents. Oh, maybe we have because it looks like the E and the D and the C are dropping on top of that green line. but it's not an error. Symbols. So the red look box is a bounding box. They all appear within that box, so that's okay. Drawing images. So that looks like it concurs with the description. Any green lines are visible? Yeah, I can see green lines in the extremes of the window. Shouldn't be any red, so that's good. Verify global scrolling size and per widget scroll sizing. So I guess just check this works, yeah. Okay, I 
It's quite a complex test that one. I'm not going to concentrate too much. It looks okay. Schemes test. So this imagine just checking the the other look and the colours. It, it looks okay. So I'm not sure how to quit this now. Let's try Control Q, Alt F four. No, not really sure how to quit this. Let's try the kill option. Yeah, that worked. Oh no, it's come up with I R. So I can't really test more than that because I, I don't know if I don't think there's any way of quitting a window in TWM. Well, certainly not by default anyway. Um, but they looked okay there, everything seemed to render okay. So I'm going to install this now. And just run the uh, example games built as part of the test, extra documentation, example programs. Let's do this individually. So documentation, the location is the same, the command is the same, so that should be it. So, um, well, I suppose we could quickly load these games. Uh, again, first few applications. So, not sure what's happening here. I'm supposed to click on these, maybe, yeah. Okay, so it's one of these sort of gem type games. That seems to work quite well. I'll get rid of that one. And let's try another one, checkers. Yep, that seems to be working fine. I could guess I could play this until I lose. Uh, I can't move that one. I'll move that one instead. Right, okay. I can't remember the rules. Of, well, I call it drafts. It's been a long time since I last played that. And what other ones can we test? As a config. Here, let's try that FLTK. Alright, oh, okay, it's a CLI type program. Let's try Fluid and Interactive Designer. Looks interesting. So, this is obviously for making up right, widget, don't know what widget is. But that seems to be writing, uh, working correctly. And lastly, there's a Sudoku game, by the looks of it. Yeah, so I'm not going to have a go at that. Let's just put in, I don't know, one there. And an eight there. Solve the game. Okay. So yeah, that, that looks fine. I'll just do control C in this window to come out of that. So let's mark that off, chapter 25. FLTK So let's clear up and try GNU PG Right, uh, this one says GCR is optional and that's a 
token entry. So what I'm going to do is, although GCR failed the test because GNU PG was missing, I'm going to install GCR just so that pin entry has got the optional package and then we'll just have to rebuild GCR again when we've got GNU PG installed and we can do the testing then. So let's get GCR, it was GCR wasn't it? GCR, yep. Yeah. Oh, it needs lip secret as well. Okay. Lip secret needed. Uh, something else. Can't remember what now. So let's let's do GCR first. So I'm gonna build it as it is. Without the GTK dock, I won't bother with that for the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to do make install, not going to bother testing it. Uh, if type properly. Okay, now we need... Uh, lip secret so let's see if this will install as it is and we'll just have to again just have to reinstall it again expects no key room to be present at runtime I'm not sure if we're going to run run it at the moment, so well, let's see if it fails or not. At runtime, um, yeah, I think we'll be okay with that. Um, again, I'm not going to do any of the options. Crypt. I'm sure we've got libg crypt installed. Let's have a quick look. Yes, it's that dump sex p thing. So let's yeah, just put this in. Uh, done it twice now. Let's try again. So that worked. Uh, sorry, Ninja install. Okay. Oh. Oh, right, we're in another directory. So hopefully that's enough for pin entry to work now. So... Save this link and extract it. So let's examine this. Enable pin entry. Don't know what that means. Default is TTY. But we've got some extra options from what we've had in here. Enable inside Emacs, we can enable that because we've got Emacs installed. Pin entry, well default is yes, but let's stick it in there anyway. We've got Qt installed. Enable pin entry. So we've got GTK, let's add that in. And we've got GTK3, so again, although it's default, there's no harm in adding it in. We may even get the status showing what's yeah we have. 
So I don't know what that is. Windows 32 maybe. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it hasn't found the Emacs for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure we had Emacs installed. Not to worry, it's not something I use. I'm sure we installed Emacs to allow something else to be built and it may not even have been built fully. Um, well, I ha oh yes, I have got it to rebuild after optional packages, so that could be why. Um, so I might want to add in to rebuild this to make sure we have fully featured um, pin entry. So let's put in pin entry after Emacs. just to make everything complete. So let's run make. Make install. And that's that one. So I'll mark that as one to rebuild and take it off on chapter 11. Okay, so we'll tidy that up. And install MPTH. Not sure if we had this or not. No. Nope. So this is very straightforward. Test it and install it. And that's done. So once again, let's, oops, let's in general libraries. PTH. Okay, now we can move on to libksba. Uh, there's no complexity with this one either, quite straightforward. Make check, looks good, and make install, and it's done. So that is chapter 9 again, libksba. Now we can install GNU PG by the looks of it. An entry we've got now. USB. Yeah, we've got all these optional ones, but import ones are required, the ones are installed. How did we download this one? So I need to put a little fix in, I'll just set command, and then we've got some configure options here. Simcrypt run. 
enable all tests. There's more tests we run with make check. Let's try that. If it fails, what we can do is just take it off and see if the basic tests pass, which would be a good enough test. Enable tests. Enables G13. I'm not sure what that does. Encrypted fastest container. That's optional. That sounds quite useful. So let's execute that. So it's found LDAP, which we've installed previously. TLS have also installed. Don't know what Tofu, Tor, imagine that's the Onion browser, I'm not sure. Onion router. Um, all the other options are being installed as well, so it looks quite a comprehensive install. Sh sort of shows that we have indeed got the optional packages installed. So let's build it. Running with fake system time. Okay, right, okay. Um, so let's run these make info commands for documentation. And then it says if you've got text live installed, which you have, you can build some alternate formats. Now it says fig to dev is needed for the PS format, so I'll just copy the first two and create the PDF format. And that's built, so let's now test the package.
Right, so that has tested successfully, so we can install it now. And install the documentation. We've just got to modify this to remove the PS because we didn't build that. So remove the comma as well. Okay, so the DVI wasn't built either. So really it was just the PDF. And that is complete. So GNU PG is back in security. Yes, when I look back at the security chapter, there's only a handful of packages we haven't built now. Um, so maybe a few more to install as well. So although we skipped through right at the beginning, just picking out ones we wanted to install, as I said at the time, there will be others that will be pulled in as dependencies. So GNU PG, let's do GCR again. This time we'll build it properly and it should test properly as well. It should test successfully. So it was just a case of copying this, adding in the um, enable GTK doc for the documentation. Let's let that configure and run make. Now let's rerun the tests and hopefully this should pass this time. And yes, there's no failures at all. So that's good, there's only two skipped, 600 were tested. Make install. And that's complete. So this is back in the GNOME libraries. So already through other packages we're starting to build up the GNOME um, environment. Uh, this is GCR. And now let's do GNOME keyring. DBus GCR links pair. Yeah, we've got all these dependencies, so let's tidy up. GCR. No keyring. And yeah, it looks like I can just copy all of this in. H agent. All oh, right, sorry, I didn't see this. This needs open SSH, right? Okay, that's why that's failed. So we need to resolve that one. Um, now, this I think is one we've got to. As a rebuild, I think. Let's just take a look. Or maybe it was just a dependency for other packages. I can't see. Oh, yes, no, that's right. It was to be rebuilt after Xorg, so it's one I've been putting off for a while. 
and also I've got LibSSH to be built after GNU PG and OpenSSH so we can kill a couple of birds here with one stone. Um, let's check if we've got GDB. G core. Yeah, we've got that. Um, X Windows. We've got Kerberos now. Optional runtime. Use to gather entry. Well, we've got Open JDK. I think we've got this Net Tools. Let's look at this Sysstat. Net Tools. ARP. Okay, looks like we haven't got this one, IPM. No, we haven't got net tools. CVS. Is that up here? No, I couldn't see that there. Okay, we need that one and we need Sysstat. And it says it's designed to be controlled by FCron. Okay, um, so Cron's one that I've got to install because we've got about two or three other packages that would benefit from having um, activity managed by Cron. Right, so let's do this one next, this stat. So there's no, oh, it does say to run configure helps the other influential environment variables. You may want to use history and compress after variables to customize the amount of data rather than the number of data files kept on the system. Default is 7, default is 10. Um, I don't think I'll bother with it. I don't know what this package does. I don't think I've ever built it before that I can remember. So I'll just take the defaults if there's no other recommendations. So I'll just build it with the commands that are here. No test suite. We just install it. And that's complete. So chapter 12, Sysstat, and now we can do net tools. installed this you know but let's just double check this list maybe we have to abandon it for some other reason although there's no dependencies um, Is there? Well, let's reinstall it anyway. So it just says to pipe it with yes. Oh, yeah, well, we can just copy this as it is. Configure and build it and make install. 
So we should have the ARP command now. No, we still haven't. That's strange. So I wonder why that's not being installed. Let's try root. No, that's not installing. Oh, I know why. It's because a lot of these have gone into SBIN. That's why. And that's why the user can't find it. So if I do sudo su and then ARP, you can see it's working now as, as will root. It's finding that. So that's why. Um, so okay, we'll probably reinstall that unnecessarily, but never mind, it's not, not hurt anything. So let's tidy that up and let's rebuild OpenSSH. So I've got GDB, yeah, we checked all this, this, that, okay. Well, no, it was to build it, sorry, wasn't it? It was to build it. Normally, I've built this as one of the very first packages because I'm emulating this being done on a single machine. There wouldn't normally be a need for SSH because you've got no other machine to um, connect from into another machine. Okay, so let's extract it. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I'm rushing through this a bit. I didn't complete the sysstat configuration, did I? No, it's the cron jobs I've got to do. The recommended ones there, so... Um, let me add this to my list of things to do. Install uh, sysstat on jobs after cron and as you can see there there's a boot script to run in so let's become the boot, the root su minus sources blfs blfs boot scripts make install sys that and let's start them start the daemon running start ok so it's running ok now I can carry on with OpenSSH sorry about that little interruption so for OpenSSH we create separate users so let's become root again group and a user is specially used for the connections and then we can build it so let's examine these options we've got here so we can add the with PAM because we've got PAM installed Admit this switch of XORG is already installed. Okay, we'll leave that out then. We've got Kerberos. Arguably, it's probably not working correctly, but we can add that in. And line editing features for ST, SFTP, so that could be useful. So let's build that in. Let's see if the configure runs successfully with those options. Lib edit not found. All oh, right, okay, so that's a library that's outside of Beyond Linux from scratch. So let's rerun the configure without that option. Um, 
So those options look okay. Got PAM support, Kerberos support, MD5 support. So what I'm going to do is to just re uh, delete this and start from scratch again. Just start from a clean source build again. It's probably normally okay to rerun the configure, but uh, CD open. But being as this is a uh, build of a new system, um, and I want to make sure the demonstration goes correctly, I'm not taking any chances. So I'm just going to now just check there's no other configurations. No, it's just for the um, SSH user. So I'm just going to recall the configure password without the lib edit option. Okay, so the options are all the same again, we can build it. So it says the test suite requires a copy of SCP to complete the multiplexing test. Copy SCP to user bin, first of all. So let's become uh, root SCP is not there. Okay, so we need to copy it. There's SCP. Let's just check that it is an executable. It is. Copy it to user bin. And now let's run make tests. So something failed. Failed simple connect. It looks like it's carrying on testing anyway.
Okay, so the test seems to have finished okay. Um, it says all unit tests passed. So let's now install the package. In fact, I should, probably shouldn't have actually run those tests as root, but not to worry, it's been done now. Install the package. Now, configuration, this is quite a good thing to do. Stop anybody trying to remotely connect as the root user. Um, and then there's some options there about how to chain, uh, how to log in um, without using a password to type in. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that. So if you want to run a server, you'll need to start the server with boot script. So I'm going to do that. If you've just got the single machine, you don't need to do this at all. And start the server. And that's complete. So I'm going to mark this off on my list because that was one I had down to build. And then another one I've got to do is libssh after GNU PG. I'm not sure if GNU PG has been done. I think it has. Um, let's get rid of this. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's been done. Um, Oh yes, it's, yes, when we're done earlier on. So I'll just check. For example, it's G13. Yep, that executable's there, so that's fine. So let's tidy this up. And I better mark off OpenSSH, which is on security, I think. Find it, yes, there it is. And I'll do libssh, which is part of general libraries. Just this is a reinstall. So I'm just doing this as part of my build. This is not to do with the sequence of um, packages got to install here, but I may as well do it now, It'll be a quick one. So there's nothing fancy here, just build it. And it says that OpenSSH is a requirement for, and GNU PG, which is the reason why I've noted these down as a requirement for testing. So I don't remember if I ch checked it before, did the test, but um, whatever happened before, it should work this time. And yes, it's all passed. So I'm going to install it again anyway, probably not necessarily if the Packages are only needed for testing, but there's no harm in doing it. And that's done. And I shall mark that one off. Just check it's marked off my list. If SSH2, yep. And mark it off my rebuild list as built. So now we can go on to GNOME Keyring, which, um, oops, wrong cursor, wrong mouse, which had the OpenSSH, that's right, this failed before. So let's try building this again. So yeah, there's no extra commands here. Let's copy this, oops, this whole lot.
And now let's make check to run the tests. And that's passed, so let's install it. And now we can clean up. And mark that one off, which is under probably the gnome. Yes, it is chapter 33. Gnome key ring. And now we can move on to lib secret, which I think we've already done. So this is just a rebuild everything else we've got. So this time I'm going to create the build directory and GTK docs going to be true because I want to build the documentation and just see what other options we've got. Oh, we can actually remove this, but not to worry. Man pages, especially we've not installed LibXSLT, we've got that and G crypt false. So we've got that, so we don't need to add that option. So we just run it as it is and Ninja to compile it. And we can only test it after the package has been installed. So let's install it. And now run Ninja test. And that has all passed, so that's good. So let's tick that one off. Let's see, crypt under gnome. Yeah, I can't see it. The other oh, is up there. Yeah, these are out of order, aren't they? They're not in alphabetical order. Okay, now we can move on to GST plugins bad. Right, so this has got a lot of dependencies and these are all to do with um, sound libraries basically. So let's see if we've got any of these pending. That's a shame we've actually reduced the list quite a lot, but we've got a lot more to add in. So um Well, let's start with, we've got the base. Let's just check that. GST. Yes, GST. Right, we haven't got the base. I thought we did have. So is that one we need to build? GST base. Oh, there it is there, GST plugins base. So we've got to do the base first, okay. And this needs G streamer which we've got. CD paranoia. Lib Theora. We've got Libog and Lib Forbis, I think. Yep. 
Yeah. So the recommended is to hold opus. So let's work our way through these. So opus we can do. So this is straightforward build. Check. Okay, so that's tested fine. So that's now install and that's finished. So 42, you can see this is multimedia stuff we're installing now. Again, all because we're purely following all optional dependencies. Normally this wouldn't really happen like this so much. Um, opus, there it is there, get rid of that one, and now we're going, you'll notice that some of these even may be marked off on FFmpeg, I can't remember why this was, this was here now, but it's obviously waiting here for other stuff to be built less important at the moment. So Libthior, we've got Og, we've got Vorbis, we've got SDL I think. Yeah, we've got SDL 1 and 2. PNG we've got, we've got the rest of it. So let's download this and build this one. So again, just copy and paste what we've got here. And now I can run make check. That's all good. Make install. And looks like there's some examples we can install as well. So why don't we put those in? It's all done. Okay, so that's again in forty two the Seora. So C D Paranoia. Audio extraction tool, save link as save a patch. So 
and no other options. Got to be built with a single job. There's minus J1. And there's no test suite either. Make install and there's a mod command there as well. So that's that one done. Audio utilities 43. City paranoia. So now back to GST plugins base. We should be okay to install everything here now. Oh, unexpected and I did not wait for that to no I haven't finished with wait for it to download. Again, if you do not have an objective C component installed build system for this package, will admit a warning about failed sanity checks, harmless subs can do. I think we have when we built GCC with the extra languages. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think we do have. But it doesn't matter anyway, it's a harmless message. If you need a plugin for a given dependency, that dependency needs to be installed before this package. Well, as we've seen, we've already got all the dependencies, so we should be okay to go ahead and install this. Looks like there's no additional options. Right, so that's built. Um, we can now run the tests. Requires an X terminal running. Or all of the GL tests will fail. Five tests will produce timeouts on some systems depending on the graphics hardware and speed. Well, let's see what happens. So there's a window appearing, and another one. Okay, we've got one failure now that maybe because of the way that TWN closes windows possibly it seems to be that we can't close them directly, maybe because I moved the mouse, I don't know. Um, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Let's try it once more. I'll click it a bit quicker this time. See if it makes any difference without moving, moving the mouse. Yeah, I clicked them really quickly then, so it is obviously depending on how Maybe it's how quickly the window closes, because uh, obviously there's a pause when I click it uh, to create the window. So that could be what the timeout is that's mentioned in the book. So there, we've got a good run that time because I clicked the mouse a bit quicker. 
It says when installing make file does some additional linking if you do not have Xorg in user. The library path variable needs to be defined for the root user if sudo is to assume root use the E option. So that's what I do normally, so we shouldn't have any problems with this. Yeah, it seems to have installed it. Okay. So that's forty two plugin space. Now we've got the plugins bad and we've got a few recommended libraries let's these all to do with dvd by the sounds of it apart from this one so let's install this one oh, i just mentioned zc local which is a problem i had with one of the other packages so i wonder if this may be a common problem so i'm not going to I'm going to see if this fails in the same way as it did. I can't remember which packet was it was before that it failed. And I had to modify something, I think. I can't remember what I did now. Let's see what happens. Looks like we might be able to. Let's try the bootstrap command first. Yes, it looks the same sort of error. So it says we need to unset the AC local for this package and then reset it for other packages. So let's echo AC local. So that's the bit why it's failing. So let's do AC local equals blank and then do the bootstrap command and you can see it's working now. Um, and now let's try and run the configure and we'll add in this open NP command. I'm not sure if it's been compiled in or not to GCC but the configure should check for that. Uh, can't see there's any mention of it so maybe it's not been compiled in and it's not oh there is yeah optimization is enabled so it's going to use them by the looks of it so let's build it that seems okay and make install and clean it up so that's sound touch that's good next one is the DVD nav and requirement is lib DVD read so that's the one we were going to build next, so we'll build that one first instead. Save it. Okay. Let's open that up in a tab, but obviously it hasn't. Oh, it's taken us to a web page. Download to start in a few seconds. Save. Overwrite it, yes. And wait for that to download. Oh, it's not big at all. Let's try and extract it again. It's better. Okay, again, just straightforward commands. No test suite. And make install. That's done. DVD read. 
Now I can do the DVD nav. So again, this is on the Video Land site. So yeah, there's another web page. Save that file and let's extract it. Again, we just copy and paste. And it's done. DVD nav. So now we're back to GSD plugins and we're on to the optional packages. So clutters one. Oh, no, we haven't got. Let's install that first. That requires Coggle and I think we might have Lib input. XOR drivers, yeah. Or it might have been one we didn't install because we did libav dev. Let's have a look at XC. No, it's not there. So it's a class is recommended, so we'd better go into the XC directory. Just double check it's not there. No, it's not. So we install this. So lib Wacom, but that's for one non-root test, but it needs PY passing as well. Oh, sorry, no, it doesn't. Oh, we can install this one. Right, we can do this. It's for Wacom or Wacom tablets, but we can, again, do this for completeness. Okay, this is SourceForge. Um, let's go back to here. And straightforward build and check and install. Check it, that's fine, and install it. Oops. So that's under oops, general libraries. So back to lib input. So we should be okay to do this now. So back into XC. This will get obviously saved into the BLFS directory, so we'll have to do a move to move it into this XORG directory. Now we can extract it. Oh, we've got to a setting in the kernel to check, so Let's do that next. Oops. So it's under device drivers down here. Input device support is just here. Miscellaneous devices and user level driver support we've already got checked, so that's fine. Don't have to make any changes there or rebuild the kernel. 
So we can make this build directory first and then we'll check the options for the meson command because there's a few extra options. So the first bit it says defines where the UDEV rules are. Debug GUI equals false. This switch disables the creation of visual debug helper for lib input. Remove it if you want it and you have GTK installed. So we can leave that. Switch disables compilation main tests. Even if the test divine false, you can still run the first four minor tests as a regular user, but one will be skipped if py parsing is not installed. So that's off the book. So, um, We can, um, well, let's leave that in and see um, how many tests do run. But we expect at least one to fail, maybe more. Documentation was false. Remove if you want to generate the documentation, so we won't put that in. And remove it if you have Wacom installed or even installing them. So we'll, that is just a command there. That will run, so we'll just add in two dots in the command and then run ninja. So it failed with the legal format for filter patterns. I'm not sure what that means so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the documentation equals false um, I'm not going to spend time trying to fathom out why that or what that message means so first of all I'm going to get rid of the build directory and start again um, I'm Recreate it, CD into it, bring back the configure command. Was there anything else before that? No. That's the configure command there. Add in the documentation option and then rerun Ninja. And that's built properly this time. So now let's install it. And there's no documentation to install. Um, there's not even a directory that's been created. Or yeah, neither none of the directories have even been created, so so we'll just ignore that for this time. So that's lib input built. And let's go back. Now I can build this coggle. So we've got Cairo GDK Pix buff, I think we've got. Make sure we've got these GDK. Yep. Include me as a Pango Island. Got plugins base. Got STL 1 and 2. So that's fine. And there's a warning there or a note saying package may occasionally fail when building with multiple processors. So we need to bear that in mind. It may even be worth just building one thread anyway, just to be safe in case there's any problems that don't make themselves aware, i.e. there's no errors reported or we miss something. So let's have a look. Support for Glaze 1 and 2. Why don't they just uh, 
So we can add these two in here, enable Coggle GST, etc. So that's that one. Enable Coggle GST because we've got GStreamer installed. Enable some GTK documentation. So what's it output? Yep, that all looks good. So let's run make to build it. In fact, I was going to run this on a single thread, but um, I've started it on several, but it seems to be building okay. It could be that that used to be a problem and that, that message hasn't been updated about running it in parallel. Okay, let's run the tests then. Well, that seemed to pass okay, so Let's just install it. Right, that's failed. Right, so it's a relinking command. So let's try. Um, let's run as the root. Try that remove LA files script. Now that we've done that, let's reinstall the package, and yes, it runs fine. So that's X libraries twenty five. Now back to clutter, and I think we can go ahead with this one now. Let's check these commands, EG or back end. FDEV input, we've got FDEV. Oh, in fact, I should just double check that it's ATK Coggle, JC. Yep, that looks all good. Island and Island Compositor. In fact, there's something not right there because it's got Enable Wayland backend and Enable Wayland here. Um, we can add in enable GTK doc. And now we can run make. Let's just quick have a look at that summary actually. Yep, that looks all good. Right, 
that that failed for some reason. Lib input, can't find lib input. So this might be a case where we need to run LD config and let's rerun make. And it seems to be carrying on now. Yeah, it has. So because that stopped halfway through and I carried it on, I'm going to start it from scratch. Again, not taking any risks. So we'll just delete it, extract it again, change into it, run the rerun the configure command and rerun make and it should sail through this time. Okay, so that has finished. Um, we can now run some tests.
Okay, so you saw there's several windows up there and I had to click quite a few times to try and get them issued as quickly as possible. So, but it looks like it's passed, so we can install this now. And that is clutter complete. So that's 25 again. And just tidy up next. Right, so now we're going to move on to FAC and FAD. Okay, Source Forge. Let's look at the other one downloading as well. That should be the same. So F A C So there's no other options for configuring, so we'll just run the configure and make as it is. Um, there's no test suite, but there is simple functionality so um, I haven't got any speakers still installed um, no what I can do maybe is just pause the video a moment and see if I can get anything right so I've just plugged in some other headphones into the headphone sockets. I don't know if I'll be able to put them near the microphone for you to hear anything um, but let's try it anyway. I should be able to hear something myself. Let's try that again. Oh, I can't create output file. Oh, I see, we just encoded it right. Okay, so now let me look to see which one of these is left and right. Let's try the left one first of all. I'll just see if I can hear it first. Oh, we need a fad package, right? Okay. Uh, let's try the AA play, make sure the Sound is working. No, what's going on here? All right, push on. All right, okay, is this file here I need to play? Let me just make sure that one plays. Yeah, I've got that. I don't know if I can get that on the recording or not. Front, left. I'll just do that again. Front, left. I think that got registered. So that's the actual shows that the sound was working already as I got it installed with um, the ASA Util. So what I need to do is to. Looks like I need to get the FAD installed to actually run the test. So 
So front left MP4, that's the file that's created from FAAC. So if I leave this folder here, we'll carry on with this in a minute. So if I go back to the LFS directory, extract FAD2, and configure it. Make it. I don't think there's any other options. No. I want to download the sample file. So I'll just listen to this to see if it works myself first of all. Anything. All oh, right, okay, it just displays a message. So that is correct then, and looks like I could just play the file. Let's see what's here. Sample.wav. Yep, that's coming through fine. Hear this, I'll do it again. So that tests fine. So I'll install this one. And tidy that up. Shut that down, then go back to the FAC folder. Now I should be able to play this using FAD. So it, we've taken this WAV file, we've put it through FAC to compress it into an MP4, and now we're going to use FAD to play the MP4. So that proves that both um, programs are running. Well, it's, it's recognized it anyway. So, and then A players have already heard it. So I'll just play that again with A play into the microphone. I'll just play it here into my ear roll. Oh, didn't paste it, that's better. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. sure if I play will actually play this MP4 or not. Let's try it. No, it's just kind of the load of noise, so it wasn't good for my ear roll. Okay, so it's it's proved that the um, compressor and the decoder is working. So let's install FAAC. It says that it's, this encoder is not up to scratch of the best out there available, so it suggests a couple of others that you might want to look at if that's important to you. So anyway, that's done, and we're in 42 here. FAAC and FAD. So now back to GC plugins, FDK, AAC. So another straightforward install. Okay, so oh, it's still going again. I've done it again. I'm 
Right, this is nearly 3 meg, so it's going to take a little while. It seems to be slow from all the SourceForge servers, unfortunately. So straightforward configure and make. Okay, and let's install it. It's no test suite. It's done. So I'll mark that one off as complete. And go back to GST plugins bad. Let's just take a look through here. Libass. Um, not sure if we've got that one. Let's check. Here, these all graphical type things. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, trouble areas. I'm not sure if that will work. Right, we've got that, so let's do this one next. I think we've got all the uh, fruit video. I'm not sure we've got that one. Yes, we have. Now some font config half bars. Yep, you can download this. There's an option to save a font config, we've got that, so we don't need to disable it. No test suite again, so we'll just do install and it's done. So that's in 42 as well. Lib S. If I think that's one we've got to install. Yeah, there it is there. So if I get that up now. Right, let's save it as. Okay, source forge again. And there's a patch. Let's extract this. So we've got patch running first. Okay, so just saying I've got the dependencies that documentation will be built, so got to worry about any extra commands, make check to test it and install. That's done. So 
to chapter 10. Um, back to GST plugins, so libxif, libtree, crypto, done, gdev, libmpeg. X windows and SDL, so we can do this one. Oh, it's a source forge. Oh, but it's going to download the looks of it, so that's handy. And we've already got it. Um, okay, so if we would installed it, let's just check. Extract. No, we haven't. So there's no additional config commands, let's copy and paste. So we can do make check to test it. And it says to perform more comprehensive regression tests, see test readme and source tree. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, right, I don't know if we use the CIDCT, we can try it I suppose. It looks like we run test regression, tests and then C, so let's try that. Test, regression, tests, C. Can I open tests? Tests. Oh, I see. We've got to download this. Didn't read the top bit. So let's fetch this. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, is it because it's SourceForge? Let's use links. No. We can check it out with SVN. Extract this archive at the same level as your MPEG directory. I'd really like to have the archive, I think. Let's try and see if we can get it from SourceForge. So it looks like it hasn't been updated in a while. It could be why. I'm not seeing that file. Let's go to downloads, test suite. Um, let's try that 
files link. Okay, so maybe this package doesn't exist anymore. Oh, impacted text streams. So it looks like it's been removed from SourceForge. So I'll try to do the SVN checkout. We've got Subversion installed. So um, what do I need to do here? Let's call it MKDIV and peg to streams. And CD into that, I think. And see if we can check out. The files. No, it's obviously not working. So maybe. Let's see if that URL is the same as in the help file. Looks like it is. Yes, yeah, so it looks like maybe we can't do this then. There's no links here for the mind this where we got this from. Let's see if this mirror service has got it. That's the actual file. Uh, oh that's from Gen 2 that is. Let's try this part of the URL. It's obviously because the package looks like it's not really supported on SourceForge. So I'm just going to ignore that and just go for the install. It's obviously um, not being maintained properly. So I'll go back into the lib mpeg directory and sudo minus E make install. It looks like we've got a couple of other commands to run. And that's done. So that's in 42. Let's mark that off. Lib mpeg2. and tidy up. Let's move on to the next one for 
GST plugins. SSH2, is that all we've just done? Yes, it is. The PSP we've got, libvd power thing we did. That might be in the XC directory. Yeah, it is. It would be neon we need. Okay, so we've got all the requirements for that one. Okay, it's still downloading the looks of it. Or oh, it's got stuck. I far not found because there's a newer version I want 30.2 let's see if we can get the original version So it looks like they don't keep the older versions, so what we need to do is to look for this file name. Okay, let's try to be too clever with this web browser. So it looks like this Oregon State University's got a copy of it, which is very kind of them. So 30.2, oh, that's why it's dated 2016. It's just recently been updated about a month or two ago. Um, okay, so let's save this old version. Um, although I trust this Oregon site, because we've got it from somewhere other than the actual site, I'm going to just do an MD5 check so I'm Ideally, should be doing an MD5 checksum on every file I download, but um, trust the places that it's been specified, where it's been specified in the book. So that's what I don't normally do. But because this one's come from somewhere else, even though it's the Oregon State University one, I'm just going to be doubly sure. E28. Yeah, that looks fine. So we've got a couple of things here. Uh, let's do the set command. There's another fix. And SSL. Okay, it's just a switch to force user lift XML rather than XPAT. So might as well just use what we've got. It's what we built in Linux from scratch. Okay, do make check. It says if you use with SSL it equals GNU TLS, most of the SSL tests fail, so we haven't used that. So I assume it's just using open SSL. Got one failure there.
Well, I'd say most of the tests fail with using with SSL full stop, so um, it looks like actual connections were failing. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. I'm just going to make install now. Okay. Um, oh, need to find out where that neon was. Networking libraries. Neon. Okay, Nettle we've got open CV. So we've got Jasper, we've got Jasper. Yep. So it looks like just this Cine lib. We've got two build. So let's do that next. Get rid of that one. And this has got lots of dependencies, I think. Yeah, it has, looks like we've installed lots of not though because we've been doing lots of installations so um, let's get this downloaded it's, well, it's a reasonable size it's not too big um, cut the code here we go. p7 zip have we got that p7 no we haven't Seven zip. Uh, looks like that's what some of these dependencies are here, which is why they're highlighted. W get we got XDG utils. Got that X term we've got GNU PG. We've got you'll have to do some hacking to use GNU PG. Mm, I'd rather not. A little CMS. I think we've got both of them. I've got two. So it does say version one or two. Libex if we've just installed Xif and Lib G. Right, we haven't got that GXPS. So is there another one here? Yes, it is. Lib, where do we get to? Jupyter Turbo, Turbo PNG, Raw, we haven't got that one. Never SVG, we've got Tiff, we've got Web P, Open JPEG, Pango, Deja View Fonts, I think we've got them. Looks like we haven't. Postscript we've got GIMP, I don't think we've installed yet. Yes, we have. Oh, that was to reinstall, I think, actually. Graphics we've got Inkscape. No, we haven't got that one, that's a big eat. So let's check. GIMP, I'll get rid of that because I've got that to reinstall anyway. Inkscape looks like a little CMS there. Um, I guess we could install that. 
maybe requirement by some other program. So let's install version one. Um, Inkscape and uh, Inscript. Let's look. I think we got that. Yep. And text live we've got so we've got quite a few more packages here to build. Um, let's just have a look at these. LCMS, LCMS. Yes, it is only version two. There's a few fonts I just thought we'd install these. Not, um, or was it under the XC directory? Yes, it was. Yeah, there they are. So we have got them, so that's good. Inkscape, yes, there's a few, and Image Magic is recommended, so it means we need to install. Um, Image Magic first, then Inkscape, and then we'll come back and do Image Magic again for Inkscape. So let's move that there. Libraw we can do. GTK plus little CMS, Lib Archive. In fact, no, I'm not going to bother with little CMS one. This is absolutely required. A lot of these look like they're using version 2. Optif, git, that's okay. P7 and zip, that's optional. So, yeah, let's. Um, get, let's duplicate this. So, we do image magic. And then Inkscape and Image Magic again once Inkscape is installed with its dependencies, which is GTKMM. That needs 80KMM and Pango MM. And it's GLib MM. Lib 6C, I think we've got that one. No. Cairo MM. Escape. Image Magic Libraries. Does that mean? Oh, this is not the same as Image Magic then. Oh no, it isn't. Okay, it's interesting. Looks like the dependencies are similar, if not the same. As the actual image magic program, so we can get rid of this image magic here. Let's just double check these dependencies. Image magic in the libraries. Curl F and pick out is on that side. Turn up to be a Jasper. Yeah, these look the same or very similar dependencies. And again, it's the same dependencies, so uh, it's got a bit complicated now. Um, image 
Magic Libraries, other graphical. So it's the libraries I need to reinstall twice by the looks of it. Uh, Inkscape Monday 24. Inkscape. In fact, I should be able to. Um, I'll try. I should be able to install Inkscape. Then install the Image Magic Libraries version 6 because we'll have Inkscape then. Then reinstall Inkscape because we've then got the Image Magic Libraries. And then I'll be able to install Image Magic which also requires Inkscape. So I need to duplicate this one and move this down uh, down here somewhere. Down to here, I think that's right. Was it that one I needed these? Was it in escape? It was in escape, wasn't it? Recommended to have image magic. Right, this wasn't this one, it was image magic. Libraries. Uh, Inkscape. Yeah, image magic libraries, which is what this one is. So I need to duplicate that one. Move that down here. That's better, that makes more sense because this needs these three libraries. So it's Libraw, which we've got waiting, um, LibX GXPS, which is that one, and P7Zip, which is up there. And the rest we've already got other than Inkscape. So if we just work backwards here, we've got, sorry, ignoring FFmpeg for the moment, these three fulfill image magic, the only exception will be Inkscape. Then we've got these libraries along here, Fulfill, Inkscape, uh, which is there. Then we can rebuild the, oh sorry, this is the wrong way around now. That should be there. So Inkscape needs all these GTKMM files. It also needs Scour at runtime, so that's a Python library, so we can install that. So once Inkscape is installed, then we can reinstall the ImageMagic 6.9, because it will then have Inkscape access, and then we can install ImageMagic 7, and that should have all its dependencies fulfilled. And then we can go along and build these ones here. There's a few options here, and these are all for what are these for? Looks like the rest of the dependencies we're building. Oh, G GST plugins, that was it. And there's still a couple there to do. So let's let's crack on with all of these. Right, so P7Zip. Save 
remove that. So it's downloaded. And looks like we've created by running this command make all three. make test and that looks like that's a pass and now we can install it and that's complete so that's in section 12 p7 zip so I'll get rid of that one and tidy up. Now we can do libgxps. There's no options here, so I'll just copy the commands as they appear and install it. And it's done. So that's in chapter 10. GXPS now libraw we've got the dependencies save the link check none of these that we've seen coming up no it looks like we're clear options enable JPEG Jasper LCMS yep that's okay and we'll install that with make install and it's done So liberal is in 10 as well. Liberal. And now we come on to the Image Magic 6 libraries. So as you said, the reason why I've got two versions of Image Magic is because 
some utilities still rely on the version 6 and there's been quite a big change between 6 and 7. So let's download version 6.9 and the patch. So I'll just quickly zip through here to see we've got the dependencies. Um, oh, now Sane was one we were going to install, wasn't it? Or have we done that? No, we haven't done Sane. So let's save this. Uh, it says here that you will need to do some changes for um, uh, sign as I'm not going to be using a scanner in any way or form. I'm not going to bother doing anything with the kernel just going to configure it just so that the uh, libraries are there so the first thing we'll do is add a group the scanner and it says configure assumes the user building the same backend as a member of the scanner group for testing the existence of this group so the user should be added to the scanner group so let's do that now and of course remember you will need to oops, let's see, let's see, re log in again because if you do groups you can see scanner's not there so just do su minus and your username it's probably the quickest way so you can see now I'm a member of the scanner group So in case you've got USB scanner, you need to add this switch, enable libUSB. So let's extract, let's see what it says to do with this. So it's the back ends we need to extract. Oh, we'll come out of the directory of course, because we re-logged in. Extract the same back ends. Um, so there's no other options given there, so we just run this in. I'll add the enable USB for what it's worth. Okay, to say that you should read the documentation as some devices may be damaged. So it's worth heeding. So I'll build this now. Make check to test it. All tests passed. So let's install the backends. So these are the drivers, if you like, that make it all work. And now we can install the front ends. Um, includes graphical front ends, da da da, and a command line front end. Don't need this package if you intend to use one or more of the advanced graphical front front ends like Xsane, and that's in. Linux, uh, yeah, beyond the Linux from scratch for the looks of it, so maybe something we can do as an additional app, but for now I'll just install the front ends, the basic commands. 
although it's not technically needed, it's only really the back ends I would imagine that we'd need for image magic. Um, oh, we've actually got all the commands here to extract it, so let's do that. This group scanner. It is about the exit command. So let's just run this lot in. Gimp wasn't mentioned. Oh, yeah, some sort of front end. Did see that? So I need to. Reinstall the back end. I oh, know we've got GIMP, have we? Have we got GIMP? No, it's one that's due to install, that's right. So, um, yeah, we'll have to reinstall this, reinstall the back end. So make a note of that. Rebuild same back end only after. GIMP. Uh, right. So, where do we get to? That's the make, so we can just install it now. So that last bit is about using XScan image from GIMP, which obviously we can't do at the moment. There's some backend configuration. So that's for a network scanner. Oh, it's saying for well we will be installing no more KDE, so let's create this desktop entry file. And I don't know if any of these will work. Any of these commands. Um, if there's any hints here. Let's just try it. It may Just hang. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, no scanners are identified. But the but the binaries run anyway, so let's see if there's any others. Scan image, we'll try that I suppose. Yeah, it's not finding anything. I guess the camera one won't work either. Yeah, oh, there's something there. But no video cams were identified, so well, at least we've got a uh, a window that's popped up. That's kind of shown that what we've compiled is is working. Okay, so that's that done. So that's, what is that, 47 scanning. I oh, need to re rebuild that one as well. So I think with that, um, I'll just go through these again to check. Yep, I think apart from Inkscape, which obviously we're going to install and then reinstall these libraries, we should be ready to go now. 
So let's extract image magic version six archive. Let's see what other options we've got here. Let's do the patch and auto reconfigure. So we'll take the default configure options as they are. We want to add in all these other options because we've got all these extra libraries. So we've got all this functionality we can take advantage of now because we've taken time to build these extra libraries. Windows core fonts, I imagine these are optional extras. Deja vu font. Uh, I imagine that's going to be in user share uh, fonts, I guess. Deja vu. Yep. So let's see if that configure command works without complaining. Look at the summary. Lots of options here. So it could be there's even more possibly that we could add in. So the HDRIs worked. Uh, we've got BZIP. I've got all the trace. We've got DJ View. Did it come up with no for that? And you DJ. Oh, that's DJ View. Image formats, it probably is, that's why. FFTW, we've got Font Copy, Free Type Ghost, Dib, Graph is. Uh, what else have we got? JPEG version 1, LCMS, don't know what that is. LZMA, we've got Magic Plus Plus. Open EXR. Something we had. Oh no, it's EXIF, sorry. Um, what else have we got? Pango, we've got some pearl bindings we set to no, so maybe that's something that might want to turn on. Raw, we've got RSVG, TIFF, WebP, WMF. Oh, it wasn't found, okay. So that may be a separate library. Yes, it is. So we set an option for something where there's no libraries and the rest are all activated. So that looks good enough to go with. So we can run make and just wait a short while for this to build. Right, this is not finding some libraries by the looks of it. HDRI, so maybe is that something we need to turn off maybe? Let's do an LD config. Make no still not finding.
don't think the profile's been changed, so that shouldn't need loading. Um, I think what I might do is reboot because we have done a few library installations in case there's any problem there. Um, or what we've done there. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, quit. Oh, is it because this file stuck downloading it, it's trying to download this file, it doesn't exist. So now will the control Q work? Yes it will. So I'll come out of here. And do a reboot. So let's try this again. I'm going to remove the um, directory first. And extract it again. So we've got patch and auto recomp first, so let's run that. And now let's try rerunning the configure. Uh, I'll take the WMF off because it doesn't seem to be that we have that. And the auto trace, that's an optional, but it looks like it's off the, so I'll take that off. And they, they may have been causing the problems, possibly. Let's try that. Although I haven't said that, the WMF, it knew it hadn't found it in the um, summary. Okay, so let's make and see if it works this time. In fact, it looks like a lot of the HDRI stuff is being built. And maybe that has gone through now. Unfortunately not, I spoke too soon, so it's the magic plus plus bit. Looks to me like you can't find some libraries. Let's 
find any Glibx2. See some about Libex 11 there as well. Yeah, so I don't know why it's not finding them. Or lib, so I should be finding that. Um, what was the other ones? L I C E. So that's there as well. Let's try S N. That looks like that's there, and. XEXT. That's there as well. So for some reason it's not finding these libraries. So maybe there's something else we've got to send to the configure command possibly. There's no configure. If I spell it right there would be. Um, let's just have a look at what this says. So let's try adding this here X libraries to tell it explicitly where the libraries are. So I'll run this configure command again, add that in, and they're in opt X org lib. So let's just do a quick reconfigure and then make again. And if that seems to work, we can um, just start from scratch with that modified command. So it has got LD flags here. I wonder if I just run it again without that, if that made a difference. I didn't notice if that was there or not before. Yeah, looks like it's not there, so that could well be the problem for some reason. It could be that the XORG libraries are in via a link possibly and it can't find them and by specifying them explicitly it's got access so what I'm going to do is going to start straight away from scratch because I'm fairly certain that is the problem so let's get rid of image magic 6 um, extract it again CD into it, oops, and then we've got to run the patch with the auto reconfigure. And 
now we can run this new configure command with the path to the libraries actually explicitly telling it where to find them. And let's try building. So there's the bit that was failing. That was, I think it was empty before. But now it's got that, it, it will definitely find that. Well, I'm almost certain it will find them. I'll never say definitely, but I'm almost certain it will find them. I think that might have been the point it got stuck at. Yeah, it's worked. So that, that was the problem. We couldn't find the X libraries for uh, some reason or it hadn't identified them correctly. So it's built. Now let's install it. And looks like we can run a make check. Oh, let's get this finished.
Okay, so that has passed. Um, I think that's complete for the first round. What I'm going to do though is just take a copy of that configure command because I'm bound to forget that there's that extra lib command. And I'm just going to create a file in. Uh, I might even create it in the BLFS directory actually. Um, magic. doing VI insert just pretty this up a little bit So I'm just making this pretty as I do in the manual, just so it's a bit easier to read what's um, been added as options. Just so I know that's what I need to do for next time. So the last thing I need to do is just to end at the end of line markers. to show that the, this is a one command even though it's spread over several lines Oops. so what I've got to do now is remember that I've actually created this and it should be quite a lot easier to, oops, to build next time Oh, no, I don't need that one there. That's the end of it. So I'll save that. Just check it's there. Yep, so that'll be easy enough to copy and paste in. So tidy up. Magic 6 and I'll just make a note that this has been built and needs to be rebuilt right so now we can go on to the dependencies for Inkscape install yeah so that's a dependency we've got to do first oh, I was lipstick seg V we did before that's why I thought we'd done this one it's a similar name So there's no extra options, we've got to fix first of all for the documentation and configure and make make check and make install as the root of course And that's done. So it's number nine, chapter nine, general libraries. Lib sig C plus plus. 
So now we should be in a position to do this Cairo MM. So again, we've got a set to run in. We can configure a make. And install the package. That's that one finished. So this is back in 25x libraries. Cairo MM. I can do Pango MM. So that needs Glib MM. So let's get that one here. Glib God 6C++ we're done. Glib Networking I'm sure we're done. Yep. So we can do that one now. So again, another set for the documentation, configure and make, oops. So it's built, let's do make check, test it. That's passed and we can install That's complete. So back to chapter nine. Turn the libraries to mark off glibmm. And we can get rid of that tab. Just see what we've got here. Make sure not replicating. So we've got GDB networking there, but it looks like let's just have a quick look at that. We've got G settings. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be unnecessary. That one. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, it looks okay. So now we go on to Pango MM then. So we've got Cairo MM, we've just done GW MM, we've got Pango, so let's get this installed. Once 
Once again, we've got another set. Configure and make. There's no test suite, so we can just install it. Make install. This is back in chapter 25, Pango MM. And we're now up to 80k MM. We've got these two. So we can again just straightforward build this. So you can see these commands are all quite similar, these ones with the MM in the name. We've got a set to fix documentation, just straightforward configure and make. No test suite. Make install. That's done. in the libraries again next libraries then want to GTK MM so we've got ATK we've got GTK2 we've got Pango MM save link has So, yet again, another set. And configure and make. Okay, let's run the tests. That seems to have all passed. So let's do an install. And that's complete. Oh, I just realised if I installed the wrong version. No, it is GTK 2.24, it would be, wouldn't it? Double check this GTK. Oh, or three dot. So it's GTK two, GTK MM two, 
or you can do GTK3, GTK MM3, but you need a document library for the experimental, experimental GTK plus 3 build. Right, okay, so we've done the right one. So let's mark that off, GTK MM version 2. And now we've got Python module to build Scour. So let's go into the Python directory. Move it into here and extract it. The only use of scour in this book is by applications which require Python 2, so we can build both of them. So that was quick. So let's run the test for Python 2. Test scour. Oops. For the main tests. So I didn't mention testing version 3 here, so let's just try setting 3. That ran OK. And that's run OK as well. It's run out a lot quicker whether or not they were cached or not, I don't know. So let's install for version 2 of Python. And we'll do the same for 3. And that's that installed. Okay. So I need to make a handwritten note about that one. As the individual modules, like the Perl modules, aren't listed in the index. Okay. So it finally looks like we're ready to build Inkscape. Now this is a uh, if you've never used it before, seen it before, it's a, a vector based graphics package, I think it is. Yeah, scalable vector graphics. So basically, it's a proper app, so we'll be able to run that and see something nice to look at on the screen and maybe draw a few lines and so on once it's installed. So, have we downloaded this even yet? Ink? No. So there's the main file and three patches to download. And while it's downloading, I'm just going to double check. Oh, Trace, I think we've done that one. Yeah. There must oxygen. GC. Yeah. Okay, so we're in a position to extract it. So I've got some sets here. First one's to fix the problem with popular. And then another one. And we've got the three patches we've downloaded. We 
If you want to test it, download the required version of Google Test and Google Mock by running this. Then we can make the build directory. Let's see if there's any other options for the make. Dbus. So we could add that to the cmake command. It's just more functionality. Always a good thing to have. Unless you type for memory or for some other reason. And finally not forgetting the two dots for the cmake command. Let's look at the summary. So it's found the bus. Image magic is found, so that's good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's run make. I'm going to time this, see how long it takes. Probably only 5 10 minutes, maybe.
Okay, so that looks like that has passed the test, so let's install it. It's done. Let's do this link. Remove that, and then it's saying about um, updating the cache for the icon files. So let's do that as well. So we can do this now, and this option here, this command rather. So these icon files make more sense when we've got no more or KDE installed. In fact, some of the other desktop environments, I think, make use of them. So in theory, we can test this now with Inkscape. We should get an application loading. There's a window, a tiny window. Let's make it bigger. Um, don't really know how to use this, but uh, let's see if we can do something. Make some polygons, maybe. Yeah, there's a star. Some spirals, and so on. These are all with um, vector graphics. There's a freehand tool there. And some text. So there's a spray gun of some sort there, so okay, I'm spraying what I've just written, and so on, you get the idea. So let's quit that, and that has been installed. Yeah, I don't think that needs to be installed again, does it? Because uh, we've got image magic, yeah, I think that's that one done. So it's Inkscape and 41. So now we're going to reinstall the version 6 image magic libraries. So do this patch and auto reconf again. And I've got that configure command stored in this text file. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Make those libraries are there again. Install it again. And 
and run make check. Okay, so that's all passed again. So that is the end of the libraries for Image Magic 6. So mark that one off and rebuild it. And I can install the next one, which is actual 
the real image magic which has got some executables in it. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I'll have to download it again. I've downloaded the wrong one. That's the first time I've done that in all these hours of building LFS and Beyond Linux from scratch. Thought I might have done it more often. Um, okay, so I need to remove Image Magic 6. And extract Image Magic 7. So let's just take a look at what XORG libraries and LVM cups, curl, FMPEG, FFM. Uh, haven't got FFMPEG actually. No, and that's probably why it's been hanging around. FFTW we've got, that one we've got, we've got that one, do we get XTG, XTERM, GPG, Jasper, Hango, Escape and Script, Text Live, yep, so it's just FFmpeg, okay, so we'll do this one first. So we have got a few extra dependencies here. So we did these two earlier on. We need lame. Lib VPX, Opus we did earlier on, X24, X25, 265, and Yasm. Free or plugins, libcdio. Yeah, we haven't got that one. Is that one that was one that was here? Yeah, it's there. So get rid of that one. Speaks, I think we have had. Yep. Text Live. V4 X feed we haven't got. Okay, so we've just got to get these dependencies built and we should be in a position to build FFmpeg which is useful for other things, we'll be needing it for other things. So let's start with gavel. Okay. Free or I'm waiting for that one. And Yasm as well. As we'll get all of these ready, we're waiting for that slow source forge download. Six four VPX. Oh, I thought we had this one. No, we haven't. Okay, let's get that one down as well while we're waiting. Oh no, it's finished. Okay, so. Let's just download it anyway. I might as well do these two then. I know I've got all the dependencies downloaded. Lip sound file, I think we've got that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's another sound forge one. So I'll move this one here because that's all oh, no, I want. So let's 
so lame. Um, I'll move Xfit here because that's what needed Yasm. Right, okay, so libcdio. Oh, it's got another one, libcddb. So let's get that one. Oh, it's another SourceForge. Right, so let's start with this one. libcddb So straightforward. And looks like it says the test fails due to missing test services. So they're obviously not there. Out of date. Yep, yeah, there was a couple there, the looks of it. Well, it's three or five, so... Yeah, server check, check char set, char set conversions, I don't know why they're failing, um, they're standard character sets, so I can't make that out, so I'm just going to ignore that and install it. That's done. So this is chapter 42. LibCDDB. Now we can install libcdio. I've got a required file here. Oh, I don't know this one. Okay, so this looks fairly straightforward. Make a check. That's okay. Make install. And now we install the libcdio paranoia source package. We're going to make check. It's okay, and then make install again, and that's complete. CDIO. If it's done. So now we install Gavel. So what have we got here? Uh, so we've got without Doxygen. We've got Doxygen so we can leave that line out. Just see that configure runs fine. Yep, let's build it.
Okay, and install. It's complete. Install frail plugins. So we've got open CV, I'm sure we've installed that one. Okay, perhaps we haven't. Is that queued up to be installed? Yeah, it is. Currently broken. Um, to, uh, okay, so I guess we don't want to install that then if it's broken. We've got gavel, so I think we can just install this as it is. I didn't leave half commands lying around. That's okay. We can install this now. And that's free old plugins complete. Mark that one off and move on to Yasm. So there's no options here, we just build this as it appears. And make check and install. It's done. So Yasm is in 13. Now we can install Xvid. Again, we just copy these commands as they are, there's no other options. And now we can install it. And it's done. Chapter forty two X Fit one three seven. So now we're going to build X twenty five library. Sorry, X two six five. Do I keep calling it X twenty five? Again. There's just um, the commands that you see are the ones we use.
Okay, so that's done. Let's install it. And that's done. So that's X two six five. That's in forty two as well. And now install X two six four. Um so I switched to Sable's command line code which is done that says it requires an FFmpeg for most of the input formats and FFmpeg's got its own command line. So I guess that's quite a good option to use. Don't need to use a disable ASM because we've got NASM already installed. Okay, that's done. Uh, there's no test, so we just install this. And that's as simple as that. X264. Mark that one off. Now I've got libvpx. So let's extract this. And what have we got here? Compute good sub with VP8, VP9. Yeah, that's okay, I don't want to do that. Let's take the commands they've given in the book and use those. Okay, let's turn it and let's install. And it looks like that's complete. libvpx. Okay. So now we've got lame. So we can add enable NASM to this because we've got NASM installed already. That's done. Let's build it and run make test. And that was quick. OK, 
Okay, yeah, it looks like that's it, so let's install it. And that's complete. So lame is in audio utilities. So now we should be prepared to install FFmpeg. Let's see if it's... No, it's not downloaded yet, so let's get it. So you can see there's lots of switches here to enable everything. We should be able to do everything there because we've got all the options in. Um, assume there's none there that are first things we haven't got. They all look like the things we have installed. So this is loads more here by looks fit. Let's plug this. Well, let's do a set command first and then plug the configure command in and just cross reference what's in it. Oh, well, we can read it very well. Let's see if we can enable lib free type. Yeah, that's there. Enable GPL, enable version 3. Yeah, that's there. Enable non free, or so we had that. Disable static one, enable shared we want, disable debug we want. So static, enable shared, disable debug, yeah. AV resample. Yes, yeah, these are all the ones that they're enabling. Then enable open SSL or enable GNU TLS. So we want to add one of those. In case we want to connect to a secure stream, so let's add that there. So we'll dock. So we want the documentation to be built, and we've got enable lib pulse because we've got pulse audio. I think yes, we have because I've just seen we need to rebuild it. So that should be the configure command we can use. So normally when this builds, there's loads of information about the formats it's going to be capable of, so there's lots there. And some summaries there of how it's going to be building, what what features it's going to use. So it looks okay. Let's just run make to build it.
So it's complete. We've got this GCC command to compile a program to allow a fast start for some video files. Now I can create documentation. This is the text live package. Okay, and we can also build some more documentation with Doxygen. Okay, so let's build that. Let's install it now. And install the PDF and PS files. And the Doxygen API documentation. So to test, you must have rsync installed and follow instructions for FFmpeg. Automated test environment. So a quick look at that. So it looks like they give us the information to do this. So let's have a look at rsync. Uh, okay, we've got popped installed, so I'm going to come out of this, go back to the BLFS, push the directory. Yep, we've got popped, so we've got that installed. Let's download this. It's a useful to utility to have. So if you want to run a server, you need to add a group and user. So, although again, there's no real point, I'll go through running the server just for the demonstration.
so that's created the user and the group so let's now configure and make now we can run doxygen to create some API documentation and then make check Okay, so that's passed, there's only three skipped. Let's install it. And install our API documentation we created. So here's a basic um, our sync daemon file. And we need to add a boot script to start the server off. So into the BLFS boot scripts and make install our sync D. And we can start it off. So that's that done. So let's tick that one off. Chapter 15. I'll sync. And then we should be able to run this command. If I did pop D, um, didn't say to run it as root, so just run it as a normal user. So it looks like it's downloading all these demonstration files. It says it's a gigabyte, so it might take a few minutes.
Right, it says download it. It's suggesting there that um, you can compress these files and keep them for another time, so it might be good to save downloading a gigabyte of um, data. So, um, might do that now actually. Uh, It downloaded it to Fate Suite directory is created and the files are downloaded there. Oh, yes, there it is. There, so I could tar that up now before they get touched. Yeah, so I think what I'll do next is compress that because um, a gigabyte is quite a lot of space. Yeah, I've only got 15 gigabytes left, so it's not quite rapidly running out of space here. Um, yeah, so I'll use XZ and Z to compress option, B for verbose, E for X compression. 9 for maximum compression and then I can use T4 for the number of threads and fate suite dot tar is the name of the file I want to compress. Let's just time this, see how long it takes. Of course XZ shows stats how long it's taken to do stuff anyway, so this might take a while a minute. Um I think it's gonna take a bit longer than that to do a gigabyte. Maybe not. Maybe it is. It's already done a quarter of it, so it's not too bad.
Okay, so that saves a little bit of space. It's about three quarters the size it was. So I'm just going to move that now and rename it to so that if I in the future keep this and do decide to use that file, I'll see it when I extract FM, FFmpeg. So I'll call it fate suite. Okay, so it says if you do use the downloaded one, some may have been moved. And you can run this command to just synchronize it if, if you like. So that looks like that's all up to date as you'd expect, just downloaded it. And then this is the command to run the tests. We have to modify threads equals n to the number of cores we want to run it on. It doesn't say how long it takes, although it does say that the estimated values... Uh, Alright, here it is, 6 SBU with threads equals 4, so it's not too bad. Well, it's completed, there's no errors apparently. So, um, well, actually, we can check with this grep command we didn't run in tandem with that previous command. So, that's 3756. So, yeah, it looks looks like it's run okay. So, that is FFmpeg complete. So that's chapter 44. So let's get rid of that and so let's just see the disk space again. Yeah, 18 gig out getting quite low actually. So anyway, we should now hopefully be in a position to finally build this image magic quickly run through the other packages again. I can't see anything else that needs doing. We've got Inkscape installed, Graphis, GIMPs installed, GIMPs installed. GIMPs not installed is it? 
It must be installed. Gimp. I don't know what the... Maybe we didn't install it then. Uh, let's just have a look. Okay. So it looks like we need to install GIMP next. And then I'll have to reinstall the other image magic, I think. Gimp uh, Ink Escape, wasn't it? That needed the image magic libraries. Does this need GIMP? Yes, it does. So I'm going to have to reinstall this one, unfortunately. I thought GIMP was installed. I must have downloaded it and got waylaid. So let's check through this. It looks like I think we've probably got a lot of these. Or was this what we had lined up to do here? In my view, because we've got Gaggle there. And GXIV. Let's get these two up. Yeah, look at my paint. My paint brushes. GVFS. GDEV, I think we've got. Um, yep, PYGTK. PYGTK 2.24, yeah, I've got that. XTG, we've got, I think we've got AA there, let's just check XTG. XTG, yep, a lib. It's K doc, yep. So it's just these few. And remember, this is all for GSTK plugins. Bad. We we've got to where we got to. That's a go off it, man. Do we get my lady with something else? Now, while well, we've got this one still, did we install it even? No, we haven't because we haven't got the file, so it must have been. Oh, is it because of OpenCV? That's what it is. OpenCV, where is it? No, it must be something else then. Oh, this needs FFmpeg. So was it something else? Well, we didn't get to install it, that's for sure. So we'll find out what it was. But it, again, it's all these dependencies that's causing us to have to um, build these extra tools. So 
So this needs Jason C. So let's download this one next. So there's no extra commands, we'll just copy and paste this one as usual. A lot of these smaller libraries. And test it. So it's passed, let's build, let's uh, reinstall package. How's that done? Oops. So that's chapter 9. Jason C. So I can do live my paint. And again, a straightforward library to build.
Right, so as that is finished testing, it's all successful. We can install. And, oops. So that's in section 10 graphics. Let's do Jaxiv or Gexiv needs Axiv. some extra options here, just check them. Some programs which are put into user bins, so that's probably not a good idea. And curl, yes. So we'll just take the default build commands and use them. built, let's install it, that's done. So that's section 10, exif 2, no g exif or gexiv. Simple commands again, just copy and paste. And ninja test. Looks like that's okay. And sudo my C ninja install. And that's complete. And this is in GNOME Libraries, chapter 33. Checks it two. So now can run in Gaggle, it needs Babel. JSON Glib already got. Risky.chiro, exif2. Except two graphics, Jasper. So we've got Ruby, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm satisfied that they're all available, so I just need this Babel. Babel. Again, just only need to paste, copy and paste the commands that we see. And just test. And let's install the package. And that's done. So that's section 10 again. And 
Now I can install Gaggle. And looks like we can add in docs equals true because we've got GTK doc. Let's build some documents. So I just do it in front of these two dots. And that was the configure, wasn't it? Yes, now I need to run Ninja. Now let's test the results. So that's a pass. All oh, tests OK, one was skipped. So let's do a ninja install. And that's complete. So that's Gaggle. So now we should be right for our GVFS needs libsoup. And that's one of the ones we've got back here. Let's get rid of that one. Bring this one up. Libscdio. Got that libg data. No, we haven't got that one. Got these ones, U disks. Is that one of these ones here, was it? Oh, yes. G data U disks. So let's get that up. U disks, yep. GVFS. Uh, Patchy, we've got Alahi Blues. No online accounts. That was another one of these ones here. So you can see we're coming around full circle again. Probably because these dependencies are different requirements. GVFS was required by something else and now it's required by uh, GIMP. Lib archive, libgcrypt. Let's check these here. Got that one. Crypt we've got and we've 
got the others, so it's just these ones we need to deal with. So let's check these ones. GCR, we've got them, we yep. Jason, GDIB, rest, I'm sure we've got. Oops. Yep, Fana, we've kicked. Right, I think that's the one we're trying to get built actually. Web kit, yes it is. And that needs to load as well. Cairo C make base. We're trying to get plugins bad built, aren't we? Just go three I see you six five one loop G dev got dev lip secret got lip soup we're trying to get built as well Lip P Mes I can check with Ruby SQ like which enchant enchant we've got that one oops Geo clue done object home Lib notify, I think we've got that one. Yep. Bubble wrap with Dan. Running the moth. So really this one is waiting for GST plugins bad. And lib soup. So let's move that there. And let's look at bad again. Deadly Nav, Sun Touch Blues, Clutter Curl, Fruit Find. Jacrypt. Lib G Crypt and Lib G Dev forgot, so that's okay. MPEG 2. Oh yeah, OpenCV, that's where the OpenCV is coming from. With additional modules, it says. Mm -hmm. So that needs that. Right, so I think we can build this one and then build GST plugins. Oh, there's any lib it needs. Oh, and that's what we're trying to build up. So we're in a bit of a circle here. Again. Um... Right, because this is going to take a lot longer and I've been here for quite a while, I'm going to leave this session as it is and come back um, in the next video. So I'm going to shut this down, leave it as it is and just um, leave it for today.